the henderson hasselblad equation for pH as used for respiratory therapy. The equation is pH equals 6.1 plus the log of the bicarb divided by the PaCO2 times 0 0.03. Now, the bicarb must be given, and let's say the normal bicarb is 24. So here we have 24, and our normal CO2 is 40 times 003, which gives us 24 divided by 1.2. If we divide 24 by 1.2, we come up with a number 20. Now, this is the 20 to 1 ratio that we must maintain to maintain a normal pH. Take 20 up here. Take the log of it. So pH equals 6.1 plus the log of 20. Put the log of 20 into your calculator and you come up with 1.30. So the pH then equals 6.1 plus 1.3. The pH equals 7.40. This is a normal pH for a normal CO2 and a normal bicarb. First, let's take a look at the log of a number. Now, how do we find a log? We use our calculator or we use our computer. Here I'm using Google. I typed in the log of 21 and it'll give you a number, but it also brings up the calculator. Here I have a calculator. I'm going to clear this stuff. All right, now it's cleared, and I want to take a log. So I want to take the log of 20. I hit log. I come up with a log here, a parentheses. Now I'm going to type in my 20 to 0, and I'm just going to hit enter or equal, and this equals 1.30. We don't have to go with the rest of that stuff. And of course, that is the number that we used for our calculations of the pH. So, all right, now we have a bicarb of 18. We'll put 18 in here. And we have a normal CO2 of 40 times 0 0.03. Forty times zero point zero three is one point two over under eighteen. If we take eighteen and divide it by one point two, we get fifteen. Now you want to take the log of fifteen. So we just push that into our computer and we come up with a number of... Now let's take the log of 15. So hit log, type in 15 equals, the log of 15 equals 1.17. You could round up to 1.18 if you wanted to. And let's do that. 1.18. So the log of 15 equals 1.18. So our pH is 6.1 plus the log of 15, which is 1.18. Add those together and our pH is 7.28. An acidosis. And as you can see here, we have 18 divided by 1.2, which gives us a ratio of 1 to 15. 
which is less than our ratio of 20 to 1. So anytime our ratio is less than 20 to 1, we're going to be acidotic. And here we're extremely acidotic. Anytime our ratio is more than 20 to 1, we're going to be alkalotic. Cut.